Greater Toronto area has so many secrets, so many underrated places and so many nice restaurants to eat. I am going to tell you few in this video. The underrated places in GTA and my favorite halal restaurants. I am in Rattlesnake Point in Milton, Ontario. It is a very beautiful part of Niagara Scrapment area. And it is all covered with the snow. And if you can look at my back, there is lake as well. And this is very nice area for hiking. Right now, all walkways are covered with the snow, so it's difficult to hike, but in usual, it is really good. Halton Conservation Area is located uh, to the west of Toronto. It is in, in a city called Milton, and Halton uh, Conservation Area offers some great parks, scenic views, trails, lakes. One of them is Crow Crawford Lake. In Crawford Lake during winter time when I visited there was a maple syrup festival going on they would bake a small piece of bread and then pour uh, a maple syrup on top of it authentic maple syrup and the bread is baked or cooked on uh, coal uh, in cold winter it was a lot of fun and an interesting experience going back to the old times. There were native Indian houses where native tribes used to live and they were kept in the old condition. Uh, some of the houses also had animal skins which native used for protection from cold winter and there was a museum in one of the houses as well. This area is very interesting from that respect. From there, I walked towards the lake. The lake was all frozen and there is a boardwalk around the lake which was very slippery and not safe to walk. While you walk towards the lake, there were wooden sculptures which were made by different artists, local artists, which was quite interesting. Anyways, I'm going towards the lake and visiting in cold winter was also a different experience. Crawford Lake looks extremely beautiful in summer time as you can see in these pictures from last year. I also came across a wood baker over there who was very busy in making a hole in a wooden tree.
another beautiful park to explore in Halton Conservation Area is Louisville Park. This park is famous for its stream, natural water streams and beautiful slopes. In winter time, it is an ideal place for uh, sledging, debogging and walking in general and enjoying the nature. This peaceful place is free of charge. It is very tranquil and therapeutic and a must visit place. A hidden gem in downtown Toronto is Bata Shoe Museum. We are at Bata Museum in downtown Toronto. It is the intersection of Bulluwal Street and St. George. It's the Bata Shoe Museum. Bata Shoe Museum is a underrated place in Greater Toronto area. It is a hidden gem. It has 4,500 year history of footwear explored through hundreds of shoes. Bata Shoe Museum was founded by Mr. and Mrs. Bata. Bata is a very famous shoe brand in many countries, especially in South Asia. When their private collection of shoes outgrew, they started a Bata Foundation and in 1995, they opened this museum in this iconic building, which is designed by very famous architects. This museum is located on three floor and it explores uh, history of shoe since 4500 Egyptian, how they used shoes, different type of historical empires like Mughals of India, Chinese, and then also different cultures, how they use shoes and uh, different uh, uh, designers, how they have projected shoes, what would be the future of footwear. So all of that is explored in a very, very interesting manner. The downtown area around Bata Shoe Museum is quite interesting and worth a leisure lead stroll. Greater Toronto area has so many good restaurants. Uh, because of its diversity and cosmopolitan nature, you can find food from any country. It is one of the best halal restaurants in North America. Halal is the term used for meat for Muslims as kosher is meat for Jews. I discovered an amazing restaurant in downtown Toronto called Nile River Restaurant which serves Egyptian food and the place was really amazing. They had very good authentic image Egyptian food and uh, it, the service was also quite good.
the ambiance was also Egyptian. We ordered uh, meat patties, some type of espagati with chickpeas and, chi and beef liver. We are in amazing Toronto downtown and as you can see it is by the lake, it is cold, people are walking, jogging. Very beautiful. Toronto has its own charm in every season. The Lakeshore Walk in Toronto downtown is a must activity. It is very interesting. Over the period of years, a lot of buildings have been constructed in Toronto downtown in Lakeshore, which obstruct the view of the Lake Ontario. But still, there are nice small parks, there are old ships, there are restaurants. Um, so it's worth and you can walk for miles in that area if you find a decent parking lot. some of the best Afghanistani restaurants. This time I discovered bread and salt in Mississauga and it has regular Afghani food but very delicious like chapli kebab and uh, different type of Afghani vegetables, bread, Afghani pulao, rice. Try the food now. This is chapli kebab and this is lamb chop. Lamb chop is very good, spicy. And chapli kebab is good too. Another underrated area in Greater Toronto is Bronte Harbour in Oakville. Oakville is one of the affluent suburbs of Toronto uh, along uh, Lake Ontario and uh, it is uh, very scenic and Bronte Harbour is very nice. It used to be a small boat do docking place but now it has evolved into a very beautiful harbour. If you go to Oakville, do visit Orda, which is a Uyghur Ch Chinese restaurant. Uyghur are Turks who migrated to China and uh, they were Muslims and it is a Muslim population which is under a lot of prosecution in China right now under Chinese government. This restaurant has amazing Uyghur food which is a combination of Chinese food and it has some Mediterranean flavor and it has also some uh, Turkish flavor like kebabs and breads 
and it is very unique and very flavorful food and a must visit place if you go to that area. This time I ordered uh, chicken skewers and a lamb soup. The decor inside is very nice and very authentic as well. Kurkura soup, it's very flavorful. Chicken kebab, delicious made on charcoal. This is premium sweet Bengali sweet shop in Canada. Premium Sea Sweet has delicious selection of Bengali sweets. The good thing about Bengali sweet is that the sugar level is pretty low. This place is located in Brampton, Ontario. These are some of the underrated places to visit and to dine in Greater Toronto area. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel.